Welcome to this skin tutorial on displacement and creating displacement maps. So today we're going to take this wooden texture, which I have taken from uh, the free stock website, pixels.com. Uh, so you can download this if you want and use it to create the same type of effect. So we're going to put, okay, so I'm going to take a piece of text and place it over this and make it look like it's been carved into or it's part of the wood. You can also do this with a logo or some other type of image, just as long as it's a, as long as it's a flat color as well. In this case, the color white. So I'm just going to use the text tool. So I'm going to come up here and select my text tool and create my text. I'm going to choose over here in the properties. I'm just going to choose some kind of basic, uh, some basic sans serif type text. Let's see how this one looks. Let's go for about, it'll depend on the size, the font you're using, to what size you need to go to. Some fonts 800 would be enough. With this one, we're going to go with 1200. We want the color to be white. Click on OK. And just shape this back down to the size of my text. And that's it now. So let's go to our move tool and just move this into position. And we have our text. So what I want to do before I go ahead and do any more, I'm just going to disable this and choose my layer below. I'm going to duplicate it. And now I want to create, I want to create a map, a displace map that I'm going to use to create the displacement. So to do that, I'm going to, I'm going to go to my colors and my saturation and just completely get rid of all the color. And I want to increase my contrast, so I'm going to go to Colors and Curves, and I'm just going to do a basic little S curve here just to add to the contrast, and that'll help with the displacement when you create, make the image a little bit more contrasty. And click on OK, and finally I'm going to zoom in to 100%, and I'm going to soften this a little bit because it won't make a good displacement map when the areas are so harsh. Uh, so it uses the black and white tones in the image to create the displacement map, and it looks better if you make it a little bit softer. So we go to filters, we go to blur and Gaussian blur, and we add by default it's coming up here. One and a half. So if I add in two in this case will be enough. And okay. Now I'm going to turn this one off. Shift Control J to go back out. I'm going to turn my text layer on to normal and set my text layer and change the opacity blending mode to overlay. So you see now already it's integrating a bit better. These black ridges look a bit better. So we just again zoom all the way in. Uh, so we want to make it kind of follow these contours that are within the wood. So in order to do that, we have our wood text layer selected. We go to our filter menu and we go down to map. And we go down, actually before we do that, we should go to actually our distorts and go to emboss. So, so this should be applied before you do the displace map. So we have to add emboss just to make it look like that it's been, it's coming up from or going into, uh, into our wooden texture. So you can play around with the depth you can add or you can remove depth. Uh, you can change the direction that the light is coming from based on the picture that you're editing. You can change the elevation so this you will make it a bit darker or you can have it a bit a bit lighter depending on the elevation. 
So we leave it there, clicking on OK. And next now I'm going to go to filters again. And this time I'm going to go down to my map and my displaced map. Now we're going to go to the aux input, select our hidden layer, which is this one, but we can use it. It's the displaced map that we created. So we double click on that. And then we can start shifting our horizontal and our vertical displays to get it. And you can see now that it's moving along with the contours. And you can also adjust the center displays if you want. If you feel that it's not looking realistic enough, you can also change, change this. So it should be subtle enough, nothing too hard. I think that looks that looks good. It's following our map. The edges are soft, not too hard because we created this special uh, displaced map layer for it. So when you're happy with it, then we click on OK. And I do Control Shift J, zoom out, and we have now our wood integrated. You can also Play with the opacity, so if you feel it's too strong, you can reduce the opacity. It might depend on the type of texture that you're, you're using. You may or may not need to change the opacity. And you can also try out different blending modes. So for instance, soft light will give a slightly softer effect. You can also use multiply, which will give again a different type of effect as well. You can try which one suits whatever type of texture you're using. Okay, so thank you for watching. And if you're interested in seeing more content like this, leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed it, like it and subscribe to the channel.